Hello kitties. How are you? I hope you're very well. Today, we're going to be, you know, telling you some scary clown stories. Part of the October scary Halloween month. Are you ready? There were three boys who loved watching horror movies. One day, one of the boys received a parcel in the mail. There were no stamps on the mysterious package, and no name or address was written on the front. The boy had no idea who it was from. When he opened the parcel, he found a DVD inside. There was no cover on the case, no title on the disc. He thought his friends might have been playing a joke on him. Ha 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 ha. So he took the DVD and went out to meet the other boys. When he arrived at their house, he asked them about the mysterious DVD. But they, but they said they had nothing to do with it. They invited him inside to watch it and he see what was on it. When they sat down on the sofa and pressed play on the DVD player, they were surprised at what they saw on the screen. There was a creepy clown standing in a room. There was a bed on his left and a closet on his right. He was holding two red balloons, staring into the camera. Then some weird music started playing and the clown began dancing and jumping around. He was jerking and shaking his body all around the room. All the while, his clown face was fixed in a wide, menacing grin. <sighs> he looked inside and his behavior was bizarre. Two of the boys thought it was hilarious and started laughing out loud. After a while, they noticed the third boy was very quiet. When they turned to look at him, they could see that his face was white as a sheet and his eyes were wide in terror. What's the matter with you? They asked. Why aren't you laughing? The boy replied in a wheel voice, that's my bedroom. The end. <laughs> Story number two. There was a seven-year-old girl named Molly who absolutely loved dolls. She collected every doll she could and displayed them on the shelf in her bedroom. She wasn't doing very well in school, so her parents told her that if she, her grades improved, they would buy her a new doll as a reward. Molly was motivated to try her best, and a few weeks later, her report card arrived from school. She had studied so hard that she managed to get straight A's. Her mother and father were delighted and decided to make good on their promise. The next morning, Molly's mother brought her to the mall so they could go shopping for her gift. As they passed by the window of a second-hand toy store, the little girl grabbed her mother's arm and asked if they could go inside. When they entered the shop, the woman told her daughter she could choose any item she wanted, no matter what price it was. Molly wandered up and down the aisles of, of the dusty old toy shop until she eventually came to the doll section. On the top shelf, partially obscured by dusty old boxes, was something that immediately caught her eye. It was a clown doll with red hair, yellow eyes, and a big red nose. 
the clown's wizened face was twisted in into a malicious grimace, and its teeth were sharp and jagged. One of the clown's gnarled hands was clenched in a fist, but the other was holding up three fingers. Molly turned to her mother and squealed, Mummy! This is the one I want. Are you sure? Asked her mother. But it's so ugly and creepy. The little girl nodded excitedly. I want it, I want it, I want it. Well, all right then, said her mother as she took the clown down from the shelf and brought it over to the counter. The owner of the store took one look at the doll and said, I'm sorry, madam. That clown doll is not for sale. What? Why ever not? exclaimed the surprised woman. The owner refused to answer. The mother looked down and saw her daughter's eyes welling up with tears. She began arguing with the shopkeeper and offered him more and more money. But he kept refusing. Eventually, she said, I'll pay you a hundred dollars, and held out the money in front of him. The owner's eyes grew wide. He hesitated for a moment, then grabbed the money greedily and said, Okay, you can have it. He put, her, he put the clown doll in a bag and gave it to the mother. As Molly and her mother walked out of the shop, the owner called out after them. Just one thing, he said. Never leave your daughter alone with that doll. The mother and daughter didn't pay any attention to him and left happy with their purchase. When they got home, Molly immediately rushed into the living room. The girl was overjoyed with her present and spent the rest of the day happily playing with her clown doll while her mother watched television. As the little girl played with her, the doll, she wondered why it was holding up three fingers. Later that night, Mo when Molly went to bed, she placed the doll on the top shelf in her bedroom. Her mother kissed her goodnight and shut the bedroom door. Bright and early the next morning, the mother was cooking breakfast and called out to Molly to wake her up. When she didn't receive an answer after calling her from the third time, the mother began to get worried. She decided to go upstairs and get her daughter out of bed. When she walked into Molly's bedroom, she was horrified to find her daughter lying dead on the floor in a pool of blood. Her throat had been sliced open and her eyes had been poked out. There was a sharp, sharp knife embedded in her chest. For a few moments, Molly's mother began, couldn't believe what she was seeing. But when she looked down and saw the clown doll sitting beside her daughter's mutilated body, she began screaming in horror. <laughs> the clown doll was holding up four fingers! <sighs> Story number three. Three teenage boys were looking for a summer job. They were hired by a company and given the task of cleaning out an old warehouse. While they were working, one of the boys found an old red wooden box among the pile of rubbish. The teenagers gathered around the box, curious to see what was inside. When they opened it, they were disappointed. All they found inside the box was a clown mask. It was a gross mask with narrow, beating, beady eyes, a bulbous red nose, and a large, crooked mouth. One of the boys picked up the mask and put it on. He immediately began to laugh and jump up and down, jump up and down. The others, the other two boys, chuckled at the display and clapped their hands. They watched as he danced around the warehouse, flying his arms around like a crazy person. His laughter echoed around the old stone walls of the warehouse. He danced faster and faster, and finally, 
the two boys didn't find it so funny anymore. The masked boy was jerking and twisting in his body into absurd shapes. His friends began to get worried. There was something wrong with him. He kept falling over and banging his head against the ground, whereupon he would immediately spring to his feet and resume the crazy dance. <laughs> the boy was clawing at his ma at the mask and laugh laughing like a madman. It took... It looked like he was having some kind of seizure. His friends ran after him, and when they grabbed him, he fell to the floor and stopped moving. They ripped off the mask, and when they saw his face, they were horrified. The boy's face was twisted in an expression of terrible pain. Blood was flowing from his eyes, nose, and mouth. They immediately called an ambulance, but by the time it arrived, it was too late. The boy had died from his injuries. <laughs> See you next time for some more scary stories. Hey, you sexy people out there, how you doing? I hope you're not too scared and uh, stuff, but um, guys, it's coming to Halloween. So at the end of the month, it's Halloween. And this is Halloween month, so uh, stay tuned for more scary stories coming your way. This is, a clown this is about clowns. Nothing about, about clowns. Um, coming up, Every week, I will have a different type of scary story. So, three scary stories in each. Um, this is the first one, the clown one. Uh, there will be a zombie one. There will be a scary movie one. And um, there will be some other ones as well. Um, uh, if I can find some other masks that I have. Uh, and you really, don't want me, you really don't want me to take this one off because... This one's not, this one's scary enough. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I'll subscribe back to you. Take it easy, turn that easy into a sleazy. I'll catch you on the flip side, and I'll smell you later.